In chapter 39 of uh, Job, uh, the Lord is uh, impressing uh, Job with his uh, animal kingdom, the, the creation that he has made and, and how each animal is different. Uh, each animal has a different set of instincts and understandings uh, and yet created by God so that they are able to uh, survive, usually to thrive, uh, without them having to go to school, without any kind of training uh, from people. They get some, I'm sure, some training from their, their parents as they're growing up. Uh, but uh, for the most part, they're, they're on their own, imprinted by God with certain understandings of how to live and how to survive. That's all been put into place by God. And that should cause us to marvel. We, uh, I, I enjoy, as I've often said, nature and looking and examining the animal kingdom is interesting. I love to observe uh, different creatures that God has made just to see how they, how they function. I don't know much about these things. I've not studied them uh, in detail for the most part. But, I, but I'm often just amazed at how each a thing the Lord has made from an insect to the biggest of animals uh, has a, a way of living that God has put in their, into their system. Uh, how did that work? Why did God do it this way? Why is each animal uh, in the kingdom different than other animals in the kingdom? Uh, how does all that work? Well, he's impressing Job with some of those things. We talked about the donkey uh, yesterday, and today we move to the, to the wild ox, of all things, verse 9. And will the wild ox consent to serve you? Uh, or will he spend the night at your manger? Can you bind the wild ox in a furrow with ropes? Or will you harrow the, the valleys after you? Will you trust him because of his great strength and leave your labors to him? Will you have faith in him that he will not will return your grain and gather it from your threshing floor? He, he's saying, look, this, this, this ox that he's talking of here, this wild ox, with tremendous power. Think of the maybe the water buffalo, that type of creatures, these wild creatures with incredible strength. And yet you don't tame them, you don't control them, uh, you, you, you don't make them do your will because they will not do that. They're wild, they're created wild, they're, their instincts are wild, and yet their strength is incredible. Uh, God has made these creatures and has given them this kind of power, this kind of strength. And then he moves on to the ostrich. I find this one always fascinating. I don't know much about ostriches, so, so this makes it even more interesting to me. But he says in verse 13, the ostrich wings flap joyously with the pinions and plumage of love. So she's going to mate. And she abandons her eggs to the earth and warms them in the dust. And she forgets that a foot may crush them or that a wild beast may trample them. She treats her young cruelly as if they were not hers. Uh, through her labor, though her labor be in vain, she is unconcerned because God has made her forget wisdom and has not given her the share of understanding. When she lifts herself up on high, she laughs at the horse and his rider. What a creature the ostrich is. Uh, an odd creature, the biggest of all birds, and yet it doesn't fly. And yet, as he says in verse seven, verse 18, it can run faster than a horse. It's an incredible creature. Uh, that God has created. And this aspects of how it treats its eggs and its young is something I'm not aware of uh, that uh, that's found here in Scripture, that apparently the ostrich lays its eggs, walks away. If they survive, they survive. If they don't, they don't. Uh, they don't care. God has not given them that understanding of taking care of their eggs like uh, other uh, birds might have. If they're, when their youngs are hatched, they apparently don't do much to take care of them as other birds might do. And so the ostrich is a unique creature. And God created him or her unique. God did that. Uh, so we're looking at these different things, each differently created, each differently uh, different in its looks and its instincts and so forth, and yet all created by the almighty God of the universe. Job should think about that. So should you and I. We're gonna continue looking at some of the God's creations uh, next week, I hope you can join us.